Here are the tools you will need for this guide in order of usage. Number one, a Phillips screwdriver. This is a magnetic number two Phillips screwdriver. Not necessarily have it magnetic, but it will help. A flathead micro screwdriver. Pen or pencil. Scissors. An exacto knife with a new blade. And finally, super glue or crazy glue. This is the carbon fiber vinyl film that I'll be applying to the Logitech mouse. It's sold in 15 inch by 12 inch and 15 inch by 24 inch size sheets from MMPCTech.com. And right here is a real piece of composite carbon fiber. So you can see side by side just how similar they are. The mouse we're using is a Logitech LX6 wireless optical mouse. I bought this for $29.99 retail at Office Depot. First thing you want to do is remove the battery cover on the bottom. And here is where our first two screws are that we want to remove. They're black. This is where having a magnetic screwdriver comes in handy in case one gets loose inside can fish it out. After those are removed, the next thing we want to do is peel back the front skid pads on the mouse. You want to use your flat head screwdriver, something preferably small, micro. Now I had done a trial run of this earlier so that's why the adhesive is coming off a lot easier for me to reveal these screw heads. After you've got your mouse all back together, you want to use the uh, super glue or crazy glue to re-adhere those on again. All together, there's four black Phillips screws we want to remove to take the mouse apart. Make sure you don't lose these. So I'm just going to tuck those off to the side. Okay, now we're ready to disassemble our mouse. The next step is so we've got two more Phillips screws. They're silver and they hold our main cover piece on. Oh, two, you want to work on something like a soft surface, a towel maybe. I'm using a brand new mouse pad just so you don't scratch up your mouse. So we got those screws removed and I'll set those off to the side so we don't lose them. Now that will allow you to remove the center trim piece of our Logitech mouse. What I've done first is cut a smaller piece of the film and we're going to take our mouse cover, lie it upside down over the film and trace around our cover. Make your outline quarter inch larger than the actual mouse cover. Doesn't have to be perfect but we're just buying ourselves some wiggle space here. So basically like that, and then just take your scissors and cut it out. Just peel back your film, maybe an inch or so. And start on our mouse tail. You're going to want to stretch the film as you pull it. I mean, or as you apply it, just like so. Keep plenty of tension in the film so you don't get any wrinkles or air bubbles. And just use your other thumb to kind of work out the wrinkles as you apply it. The next thing to do after your film is applied is we're going to cut out the hole for the mouse wheel. Just take your X-Acto knife and use a new blade 
it will help a lot. If you decide later on that you don't want your film on, whatever you've applied it to, it does come off very easily without any adhesive goop or glue, nice and clean. And it's very durable too. This film is made to withstand five years in outdoor conditions. Fruit.